So recently I've been travelling the past few months to, well this month, between Manchester and Glasgow and I've bought a lot of stuff. I've probably spent about £600 on makeup, clothes, homeware, everything. So in this video I'm going to show you everything I've got. I have this bag here literally filled to the brim plus I have more stuff in like jumpers and stuff here so let's just get into the video and see what I bought the first thing I bought from the week was <clears throat> a little cup it's like a crab I also got one it's got a little sloth on the side as well they were both let me just check they were both six five ninety nine from New Look, which is quite good. <laughs> Going along with the animal theme, I also bought an elephant money jar. At first of all, I got an alpaca one, but long story short, the lady in New Look managed to smash it on the counter, so I had to exchange it for this one, which I'm very happy about. This is the one I preferred, but in the Trafford Centre, they did not have that one, so I had to come back to Aberdeen to get that one. Next up I got the pe peachy bath bomb from Lush. It's just like, it just smells so good. It's part of the um, Valentine's collection that we had going on. So I got that to start for the month. I also got a cute little clock. It's got like a marble like background to it. I also got this bottle that can be used for hot or cold drinks. It says no bad dates, which is a good message to have if you're not feeling very good. You just look at your bottle and it instantly cheers you up. I also got this little photo fr like frame. It's an armadillo. It says armadorable. I'm not going to put anything in it because I just love the picture. It's a little armadillo in the background, so I'll be keeping it like that. I'm just obsessed with animals as you're going to keep seeing. I also got this koala eye mask because I struggle really bad with sleeping. So I thought wearing something like that where it just closes out all the darkness and it honestly helps me not go on my phone because I just put my phone to the other side of the room and I wear this and I just go to sleep instantly. I also got this jumper. It's like a, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like a bobbly fleecy jumper from Primark and also ties at the front so you can either wear it loose or you could wear it like quite baggy it's up to yourself and my first merchandise item is my post known t-shirt so on the front it just has like just says make it last before you die sugar wrath live and then on the back it has all the tour dates from his tour and I believe the first night was in Glasgow where I went to see him. And more merchandise, may as well just get it all out of the way at the start. I have my Boys On t-shirt, again with all the dates on. This is from when I took my mum to Manchester for the weekend for her, I think it was her birthday present. <laughs> Can't remember what I, if it was for Christmas or a birthday. Then I also went to see Troy Savat. Yeah, that was her Christmas present. So I got her two, two concert tickets. Like, got her Manchester and I took her for my boys on and I took her to Troy, Troy Savat in Glasgow, which was really good. And then, which can zoom out for this one? I got this hoodie from Vans, like the little rose on. This was, it's the Vans Times. I'm not sure who it is, but it's one of their like collabs and this sent me back a good £60, which is, which is always nice. <laughs> and then, there's so much in this bag. I also got a new Anastasia dip brow in yeah, dark brown, because that was nice thing where the ladies did my brows in the Trafford Centre and then I went back to go and buy this because I wanted to look around and see what else there was first 
And then the lady was like, at the till when I went back to get some to buy it, she was like, oh, did anyone do your brows for you here? Would you like some help? And I'm like, I didn't do this to my brows. I would not have. It was literally like lying here in just a full on like triangle. Like, it just looked ridiculous. Like I had to continue walking around into the traffic center like that all day. And that's why when I was vlogging, I just refused to like show my face because I was so disgusted in my brows. My cats just walked in to wonder why there's so much bags going about. I also went into the shop that works in Glasgow and there's quite a few books on like anxiety, another one overcoming anxiety and how to stop freaking out and live life to the full. And I thought these books were quite good because I do struggle with anxiety and depression and stress quite bad so hopefully these books will help and I'll keep you guys updated if anyone wants to know if they work or not it's so heavy there's just like more and more stuff coming out as I keep going I also got a sleep better pillow mist again I just I just struggle to sleep so bad so like anything that will help me sleep I'm so eager to try it I also got some vitamin teas because with not sleeping I always wake up and I'm always like tired and just like run down so hopefully with the help of the sleep stuff and the energy I'll be good to go uh, there was like a three for two on boots so I just got also, yeah I got the tea, the tea the spray and I also just got some like seven seeds vitamin tablets to see what they're all about this bag broke because it's that heavy. A couple of popping candy things from Tiger Tiger. Waterproof plasters because if anyone knows me I'm forever cutting myself like on something where I need a plaster. Me and my sister we went to the entertainer shop in Glasgow and we just bought like things like these bobble like they're so so relaxing. Like this, you can press it, stretch it. We also got some slime. Like my slime's okay, but hers like starts to smell really bad within about a week. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I just also got some new foundation to try. Just it's a brand I've heard of a lot of people use, but I've never like tried it myself. So I always use maybe like the Superstay. It's the only one I really use. So I thought I'd give that a go. I also got some of these like shorts from Primark because I just like little ones. I got them in blue, yellow, and in grey. They're always handy to have. And I went to Lush again and I got like four bath melts. This is like the sleep ones. This oils are so good. Like as soon as I put this in the bath, I just feel so relaxed. I also don't want it smells like I'm not sure, it's like a sherbet. And this one smells like lemon sherbet, this is like strawberry and like lemon mixed together. It smells so nice. And I also got the Ariana Cloud perfume that also came with this like cloud makeup bag which was quite good and I've been umming and ahhing about it for a while then I seen like people like Rachel Lee that you're saying it was really good and she went through like three bottles quite quickly and I was like mm, maybe I should try that and I also got the Sakura bath bomb as well which are like old favourites that I haven't had for a while like I'm opening this back and there's just all of this that I've now took out to like show you just all around here so now I'm just sitting in the mess of this bag and I have to put it all back in here again. I also went to Urban Outfitters and I got this deep facial cleanser healing clay. It's like a revitalizing pore cleanser for blemished skin. It's like a mask so you like mix it in with water. Add water to activate the intense charge of ancient healing clay. Then apply mineral mask to your face or anywhere your skin needs a boost. As this mask cools and tightens and you'll feel a gentle pull that targets and draws out dirt, dead skin cells and 
impurities while your skin drinks in the beneficial nutrients. I just thought for £10 it's quite a big like package you get and again I'll see how this goes and I'll let keep you guys updated. Another bath bomb, of course. This must be the last one. Yeah, I got the intergalactic bath bomb as well. Another one of my old favourites that I haven't tried in a while. I say that I haven't got enough bath bombs, but like next to like on my desk, I have another bag just filled to the brim of all these bath bombs and oils. Like, I don't need them, I just buy them for the sake of buying it or if my sister goes she'll buy like three or four bath bombs and I'm like maybe I need some as well which I don't and also I use my Badescu spray but I normally use the like al aloe vera one with like the green tea I think it is so this time I got the aloe, the aloe chamomile and lavender one just to try and also in like Urban Outfitters you can get like picture edits done so like I got like a pound each I got one with my dog another with my dog oh another one with my dog I'm just obsessed with my dog and another one with my dog then a couple of me because why not but with my dog I'm just anyone who knows me I'm just obsessed with my dog <laughs> like my dog that comes before anyone <laughs> And then I went to, I got more stuff from, I think the rest of this is from Primark actually. So I got three mini like, cleansing cloth things, you get like one in grey, white and pink. And it's just so much better than using wipes, like, it's just, I think it's better for the environment really. Because it like, takes me like five or six wipes just to get my makeup off. Then I use cotton pads to get all my like, eye makeup off as well, it's just such a pain. <laughs> And I say this as I got gently, like I never used their face wipes, my sister said they were okay. So we'll see how they go as well. I have quite sensitive skin so like using things that are like I've never used before can be like quite difficult because like I can either take it really well or I can wake up and my like face can be like out to here just all swelled up. It just depends on the product so I've got to really watch like the ingredients. I'm nearly at the end of my bag, thankfully. So I got a cream face mask, coconut soft, soften and hydrate from Primark. Again, like I have a drawer filled to the brim of sheet masks and any other masks, and I just keep buying more. I swear, like, if you go into Primark and you're just going in for like one or two things, like I just want in for shorts, you just can't. You come out with everything else because you just see something go oh it's only this much just put it in my basket and you get to the till it's like 30 pounds worth of stuff and I've also got a hyaluronic acid revitalizing and hydrating and gel mask so, uh, this is ones I use all the time apart from the coconut one I've not used so we'll see how that one goes and then a charcoal detox and purify bubble sheet mask I love bubble masks they're just so good and also a keratin hair mask just thought it would be something different to try and I think this is the last thing I just have a head massager you see it oh I have one more thing but it's like at the other side of my room and I just knocked like everything over coming back so I've already filled it in for my week but it's just like a weekly planner for me like you just it's just like a whiteboard and it comes with a pen so it's got like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I love that part and it's got weekend plans but I just it's so much easier so it means I can like plan my week like college when I'm working when I can like do YouTube videos when I can do things for Instagram like I'm just really unorganized so like hopefully this will help me get a bit more organized with my life because anyone who knows me I'm just like if I don't write it down or anything over my head like I can walk into class in like college and they'll be like oh we have an assessment or we have this to do and I'm just like oh I, I haven't done that yet <laughs> so I'm just very forgetful and I didn't throw this package away I'll actually speak about it in here as well like I this is not something I bought I got sent this 
from an Australian company. It is from the brow soap and you get sent, I got sent two eyebrow pomades as well. So it's like I got sent one in black which I I know is going to be too dark for me because like my hair is purple right now and it's hard to find a like, quite, like one that's quite good for my like my eyebrows so I don't want to use something that's too light or it goes quite ashy and I also want to use something that's too dark but they also sent me a taupe one as well which I think is quite light as well but maybe if I mix them it might be okay and then I got sent the boho like the soap brow so basically you do your but like you just do your brows as normal put some of this through it as well and it can last, I'm sure it's like, it's to like help your like eyebrows grow like more so like instead of like, this helps them. Like say if you've got them really badly like shaped and you're wanting them to like grow back, you just like put the brow soap where you want it to like grow so it can like, so if you have quite thin eyebrows and grow them, make them more like fluffy and thicker. But I'm definitely gonna try this and let you know how this gets on as well. So there should be an Instagram video coming up of these on my channel soon. So I'll, I'll link both my Instagram channels below as well if you want to check those out. Like my main one I post like more fashion so you'll see like my clothing side. And I have like a makeup one where I just post like makeup looks, skincare, like I'm always on it. And I know it like it's just something fun. like. But like I'm doing a video on why I've not been posting so much makeup related videos and like posts. Like I haven't uploaded for about a month. Like I uploaded yesterday but that's after quite a while. But anyways, that's today's video and I hope you've enjoyed it and please leave a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye. <laughs>